I defeated a 2084 rated player on Lee Chess in Blitz in 9 moves. Can you imagine 9 moves? Yes, that's all it took. Let me take you through this game. Starts off with d4, open plays d5, bishop to g5 here, playing the Levitsky attack. Opponent goes with knight to c6, I play c3, open plays h6, trying to kick my bishop backwards, which I now take to h4. Open plays g5, trying to further push my bishop down, which I'm happy doing because I have expanded the pawn structure on the king side for the opponent. Opponent goes with bishop to g7. I play h4 straight away, trying to make sure that we trade off the pawns. If the opponent doesn't take, I take. Opponent takes back. I take the rook. Opponent can also take back. So we'll trade off the rooks as well. Opponent goes for e5 here. I take the pawn on uh, g5. Opponent takes with the queen, which allows me now to take the pawn on e5. Here my open plays. Bishop takes e5, which is a blunder because the next move is nice. Knight to f3, attacking the bishop and the queen. And both this bishop is attacked twice already. Open plays queen to g6. And in this position, open resigns because there's no way open is going to come back into this game. Because open is going piece down in the opening, in the ninth move itself. And if you see the engine evaluation, it would tell you the story. It was 7.6 in favor of white already. Knight takes bishop is the winning move here. Because after open takes, I can take back with the bishop. I'm the rook. Rook can be saved, yes. I have this pawn takes as well. I have this pawn takes as well. I can simply develop as well. Anything is fine from here on. 8.1 is winning. Uh, even if the opponent were not, was not supposed to blunder here and takes with the knight, then again, uh, I had options of attacking the queen. I had the option of taking the pawn. I always had the option of trading of the knights as well. The position looks good. 1.3 still in the favor of white. And after the opponent blundered, uh, again, opponent can save the bishop um, by placing the queen backwards, which now is the bishop is defended twice. Uh, I can still take with my knight. Opponent has to take with the knight back. And now a queen takes pawn is again threatening to take on this knight as well. Bishop is active. Queen is active. Just take out the knight. Castle queen side and the rook will be in the center. King is never going to castle easily. And 3.8 is again significant advantage. So a game that ended off very quickly. Nine moves is all it took. And I enjoyed it. And I hope you did as well. If you did, please do like and subscribe to the channel too. And I shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.